Uh, where else do you get to see animals this close at such a safe distance? The Nairobi Safari Walk gives you just that. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly hit the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so that you don't have to miss any of our updates. In this video, we take you on a relaxing walking safari at the Nairobi Safari Walk. Come with me. The Nairobi Safari Walk offers a unique setting for visitors to see Kenya's flora and fauna in habitats that simulate natural environments. Only 7 kilometers south of the city of Nairobi lies the Nairobi Safari Walk. You will have a close-up view of the lion and lionesses. What is the role of a lioness? The hunt, protect and nurture and do so while serving the alpha lion of the pride. The lioness has a lesser obvious facial hair structure. Lionesses tend to favor denser and darker males. Two or more lionesses in a group tend to give birth around the same time and the cubs are raised together. Lions have terrific night vision. They are six times more sensitive to light than the humans. At the Nairobi Safari Walk, you will see the white rhino just a few feet away. The white rhino is the second largest land mammal after the elephant. It is also known as the square lipped rhino. They are semi social and territorial. Adult bulls are solitary animals. Other rhino species, white rhino ranges are sent posted with dung heaps and used by both sexes. The collective dung heaps are usually located at territory boundaries and serve as the communication and marking points. The white rhinos feed and rest alternatively during day and night. They live up to 50 years. This rhino is 19 years old. Spotted hyenas live in Africa and live in a range of habitats from grasslands, savannas, woodlands, forests and mountains. They usually sleep in dens. The spotted hyenas hold a bite so powerful that it can crush a giraffe's bone.
on your walk you will also see the hippo. They are often seen on the riverbanks or sleeping in the waters next to grasslands. They are semi-aquatic. The ears, eyes and nostrils are located high on their head so that the rest of the body remains submerged. They are fairly common in East Africa. Black and white colobus are wild monkeys of the genus Colobus, native to Africa. They live in territorial troops. They are strictly leaf eaters and spend most of their time in treetops, preferring to eat the tender young leaves found there. If you like this video, kindly show some love, uh, give it a thumbs up, you can like, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.